Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to more of the Curious Expedition Arctic Expanse DLC. And well, it would appear that since my last recording to me recording today, the developers have decided to release their, their video. But it's not an, a normal sort of this is what's going on in the in this update video which they're used to doing. They're just naming their their favourite bits out of it. Top 10s, I believe, or top 10. And, uh, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Fantastic, super duper. But the one thing I did learn, which annoyed me a little, was that that, that weird red world we found after going into the corruption on the last time uh, we, we did this on the last map, it's supposedly a very rare thing to do. And I went in, was like, ooh, I, I'm completely not prepared for this. I'll come and do it again later. And now I found out that the percentage of actually opening that again is very, very small. So, hey, beginner's luck, maybe? Who knows? Who knows? But as it stands, let's hope we get to see it again at some point. That's all That's all we can do. That's all we can do. We are doing well, though. We are with Raoul Anmundsen Shinsenfenton and... We're on Expedition 4. We are just playing on normal because we are, we are trying to see as much as we can. And uh, it's it's going all right, you know. The, the last episode was pretty long. It was twice what I'd usually do as an episode would go when I'm, when I'm doing it normally. And I think that's just because we took our time. We we we, we soaked it all in. We, 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 we let it all just wash over us and, and see what was going on. And it was brand new. And yeah, an hour. I could have broken it in two, but I thought, well, what's the point? Let's get it all out. It's one expedition. I haven't broken up an expedition into parts since I very first started with Charles Darwin. So, as it turns out, you had just shy of an hour's worth of footage there. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's crack on. Expedition 4. After being too excited to sleep, I made haste and arrived at the docks. You know what I've just realised? I didn't even choose where we were going. I have no idea where we're going right now, which is great. After being too excited to sleep, I made haste and arrived at the docks. There were still some arrangements to be made, so I sat on the pier and waited. Soon after my arrival, the hunter approached me. He was eager to see the evidence of Snarfrattle's death. He is dead, son. He's dead. We got him for you, Bartholomew Ainsworth. You old hunter, you. He be dead. We handed over Snuff Rattle's pelt. The hunter nodded quietly and I saw a faint sign of sadness crossing his weathered face. For God's sake, Barth, I'll know. Barth, I'll know. Barth, I'll know. Barth, for God's sake, Barth. You sent me out there with a mission. To kill Snuff Rattle. In the Arctic. He was out. He was out. In the cold. In the, in the, the freezing wastes. He's supposed to be in Antarctica. I took, I took the advantage. I was like, this isn't his normal habitat. He's going to be struggling. We can take him down. And I took him down. For you, Bart. For you. And what do you do? You're sad. You're upset that I've done what you've asked me to do. Or maybe you should think things through before asking random strangers who are about to get on boats to go and do such horrendous deeds. Hmm? Hmm? Give me my money. Give me my money. 80 funds. Not too bad. We receive new funds to reward our deeds. A collector of sorts approached me with a request. He asked us to obtain a rare idol that could be found in a native settlement in the area of our upcoming expedition. He promised to reward us handsomely if we were able to return with it. Are you going to judge me for getting back for doing exactly what you tell me to? Feroz Zesha Naoji? Hmm? Pharaoh? Zeshi? Shaha? Let's do it. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. I was proud to see that my fame had spread amongst adventurous spirits. I was approached by several capable persons. They were enterprising enough to sign up to my cause. Who did I want to recruit? My life is yours. Uh, well, as it stands, I'm kind of liking the trooper, especially now he's got some red dice. We've got Hubbus who's upgraded. I'm not getting any more red dice there. We are collecting bullets as and when we can, which is going to help. The Huskies are working well, and myself, well, yeah, not good. I suppose the best thing we can hope for is when we complete a uh, an expedition to get the attack dice as an extra option, as a perk. But uh, as it stands right now, we're doing okay. We could have Bruce Patterson, who's a horrible, horrible sexist. We could have Captain Albert Warns, who's very superstitious. Or we could go for Jim Sterling, who's perfect. In every way. No, we're, we're gonna we're gonna stick with what we got. No thanks. At long last, the ship was prepared to head for distant shores, so we could do animal improvement. I think we're doing pretty well as far as um, what we're carrying at the moment, anyway. So I'm quite happy to leave that. Uh, what levels are these? 
you're level four so you're fully trained up you've got one more level to go we can't level up the dogs i might sell the telescope the first chance we have because we don't need that anymore we don't need any more fame points uh, but even so what can we buy we've got lots of cash lots and lots of cash we can get rid of nothing we've got to buy stuff let's buy all the chocolate in the world we've got our guy to get us over the hills we've taken the shallow water perk we have no, we don't even know where we're going we can't even strategize let's <laughs> let's take all the torches let's take let's take all the medipacks just got to think of how many spaces this is going to take up too because we've got the uh, the food can still as well no dynamite that could be worrying i uh, can't buy any guns or anything which is rubbish uh, there's bound to be forests or jungles. So we'll take the machetes. We'll take a f we'll take all the rope as well because we might run into some place of needing rope. I'm up for a fight, so I'm not too worried about fireworks. Weather balloons, not too first. We'll take all the bullets, and we've still got 300 to spare. Boom! I rejoice as our vessel was primed for departure. Can I improve the huskies? I've got the cash too. It'd, it'd be silly not to take advantage, I suppose. An expert saddle, oh, saddle builder even offered to improve the carrying capacity of our animals. Her work was quite pricey, but we could surely use the additional crates. Let's do it. And again. And again. Do you want any more? It's going to cost me 100 next time round. We could keep the cash just in case we have a bad one. We'll keep the cash. That's good. Expedition 4. Generating whimsy. Ooh, taking its time. It's going to be a big one. Wow. Are we stuck in an infinite loop? Or is it just going to be that complicated? This isn't good. It's teasing me. Uh... Okay. Oh, hang on, we're there. Oh, we're there. Oh. <laughs> I was really worried there for a second. Like, silly worried. We are on a six feature map in Expedition 4. It looks like we picked the desert, which is good. That's where I wanted to go. After an unexpectedly calm voyage, we arrived at our expedition area. The foreign landscape beckoned us to explore. Well, we better get some water and get on out there then. Water, water. Water, water. We'll fill up. Why not? There's no way we're going to need all this water. But even so. Now, oh. So you can't take more than 100 water. Good to note. Good to note. Now let's crack on. Water is not an issue here. Oh, and we can upgrade our mountain guy. And we have a trader. Good start. Well, let's upgrade our mountain guide because we can. Cool. And uh, see what the guy's got to offer, I suppose. A roaming merchant caravan had pitched up camp here. The colourfully dressed trader had a lot of valuable goods on offer. All of them had undoubtedly been used before, probably during other unsuccessful expeditions. What's your name, mate? Kakahuruso Sha. I'm sure I added a few more vowels in there. He hesitated before presenting us with a selection of his wares. We could not help but think that he had more valuables to sell. Right, well, we have maps. Not any good, really, because we have no shovels. We do, however, have the whiskey. Should we take the whiskey? If we have all the whiskey, what would you like in, in return? Telescope? Gets us a bit away there. What else can we give up? Uh, we can give up the uh, warmer's teeth. Oh, you like them, don't you? Uh, Medikit. Medic uh, and a torch. A rope. A rope. There's nothing else we want here. We've got the medikits. And we're going to get one anyway. Torch is near. A yeah, that's fine. Deal. The merchant seemed anxious regarding our possible return, as yet another failed expedition to raid his camp. Or to raid our camp, even. So that's going to cost me 32, 22 around, 19 on that side. 
We might as well do like a snake, I guess. If we go this way, we're, we're cutting ourselves off from down here. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go here first. If we're lucky, some of the places will be taken up by uh, uh, mountain ranges anyway, or swamps. Well, maybe not swamps. We are in the desert after all. We found an old campsite. There were remains of what seemed to be a failed expedition from long ago. The bottom remains of what must have been a Swedish explorer. On the upside, one competitor less. Oh, that's harsh. That's harsh. No, no love lost there. Then again, he's Norwegian. <laughs> Look, I was confident we would find something valuable here. We formed small teams and scoured the place. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still held some valuable equipment. Oh, more water. Water, whiskey. Uh, and a map. We could take the map. Let's take the map. Why not? It'll be worth something. We may come across a shovel at some point. Alright. Do we carry on going down or do we loop around here? C complete the region. Uh, let's go down. Let's go down. Oh, we're taking on a birdie. We're taking on a birdie. Attack giant bird! How much health? 18. Right, well, our bullets are building up slowly. Our marked bullets. Let's see what we get and then we'll decide what we're going to do. So, do you go with anything? Oh, shotgun blast, multi attack. It is worth one extra damage, though, so I suppose it's worth doing. We can always throw some bullets in. So we'll do that for three. We're gonna, I'm going to keep the dynamite back for the time being. We've got some claws we can use. Uh, so we can have stable position of for that, or... Tactical advantage for three. I'll take that. Roll it. Got our taunt. Awesome. Let's roll again. Another taunt. Thank you, Huskies. Stable. And then we'll throw in one bullet just to get that extra bit of damage in. That's what they're down to. Took 10 off. That's not bad. Oh, dog is down. Dog is down. Right, so we need some decent shots here. So another shotgun blast there. We'll pull the taunt up just in case. Got a shield of... Two. How much you got left? Five. Uh, if I throw two of those in. No, just the one, is it? For, for precise attack, that's fine. We'll hold on to you, roll you. There's two ways we can go about this. We'll go the nicer way. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Hmm, well, we'll take the feather. We can drop the, the water. We're doing alright on water. The meat will sell. Ooh. We have a sheep. We found something of extraordinary interest. We found the remains of an old boat. It looked like an old pirate ship. The rotten planks looked like they could collapse at any moment. I attempted to read the name. Santa Maria. This place surely retains some trinkets of worth. We spread out and searched the area. More dynamite. Thank you. And we've got some uh, machete as well. Cool. All right, so we've got our little place down here we can go to. Uh, oh, we are running low on the odd sanities, though. Let's uh, let's eat the food cans. Is that going to get us there? Just about. Oh. What happened there? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. You're injured, aren't you? Without access to medical equipment, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. Willow's wound was beginning to look particularly nauseating. Yeah, sorry, Willow. I completely forgot that you were injured. Let's uh, let's get you healed up. There we go. Both tip-top shape, and now I've lost some sanity. There we go. What resides next to the water? A mission. Uh, well, we'll go in, see if there's anything worth buying. I don't think... Well, we, we could stay over. It's going to cost us, though. That's the only thing. Uh, let's trade. What you got for me, son? Nothing. No deal. Uh, how much to stay, then? Are you, you're, you're greedy, aren't you? The priest coveted our goods. If we wish to rest within the walls of the mission, we would have to make a donation. Uh, meat? Almost. Almost. 
Torch? Hey, here we go. With his demands met, he agreed to let us rest overnight. The remainder of the evening was uneventful and we soon drifted off to sleep. Cool. The priest inquired as to whether he could be of further assistance to us. Well, you could not charge us as much to stop over in, in your holy house, you rat bastard. Do you want to stop again? Giving all that meat away? No. We can survive on the road. Uh, we'll go to there. 37. So yeah, it looks like we're going to lose one region to mountains, which is good at it. What's in the cave? We located a cave. The rocky moor led into a darkness of unknown depths. We required a torch to move inside. We have lots of torches. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We were surprised to see that this was just the beginning of a long underground tunnel. Ooh, I really hate this when you've only just come onto a map because it's going to obviously send us off elsewhere. Probably far away from where we are and we are missing out on question marks. We'll do it. We've got, we got the uh, torches to see what's going on. Our adventure endured and evaded a slew of potential cavernous, cavernous calamities. The hint of sunlight in the distance gave us a hope. Where are we gone? Hmm. Quite far away. Quite far away. It looks like we might actually lose two regions. And we've got some panthers as well. That looks like a pyramid sort of area for me. Uh, let's go back into the cave. As I said, we've got the torches for this. And let's carry on going up and see what the hell's going on up there. Desert Storm. Right, so let's eat the rest of the tins. We have more whiskey than chocolate. Let's eat the chocolate next. That'll do. Uh, are you aggroed? You're not aggroed yet, no. So we'll just travel up. Hope you don't get too close. Uh, I don't think we're okay. I think we're okay. A small pyramid has been almost completely enveloped by the sand. It is likely to be a grave built by a long forgotten civilization. A small opening led into the darkness. We entered the dark tomb. It seemed to be rather old and had remained in touch for a long time. In the centre of the room lay a stone sarcophagus. What be inside? Dust filled the air as we pushed the heavy lid off the sarcophagus. Inside we discovered a perfectly preserved mummy. All of a sudden it started to groan and limp towards us. Ah! What have we got? 20. Uh, well, let's roll. See what happens. Hmm. So, let us do the claw thing. We could do a precise attack with strong bleeding. That could be handy. That could be handy. I like the strong bleeding. We'll do that. And then really we need to start throwing up defence. So let's throw in a couple of bullets, or three even. And do a cutting repost, get the shield up, we'll hold on to that and roll. Shotgun blast of three. Six left. Does that mean he's going to bleed for three? Because that would be awesome. I don't think we can do any more damage this round though. Those will be taunts, won't they? Yeah. Let's throw up as much shielding as we can. It's one taunt up. One more, please. No. Right. Big hits. Oh, massive hits. He's going to die next go, though. Can we do much overkill? We can. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Like yourself. Alright, so we should probably heal our doggies up. Oh, just Willow. She's taking it this round. And, uh... Hmm, doesn't say what it is though. 22. Need some more chocolate. 32. 31. That'll do. There is a breaking through here. Great. Good to note. Ooh. Let's go to the portal. An ancient arch towered above us. A light swirling at its centre seemed to form some sort of portal. Well, let's go in. We mustered the courage and marched through the blinding light. A moment later, we emerged into an unusual landscape. Ooh. Just the one. We have... Five, and not a lot of time to explore. So let's try and head down south as quick as we can. Hmm, what have you got? 
I examined the strange man-made rock sculpture. The uncannily crafted eyes seemed to stare at us. Its presence made me uncomfortable and I desired to move on. I noticed some items by the statue, which must have been put there by people from a nearby village, presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Yeah, we'll take it all. We don't mind the standing. Well, we minus two. Eat it all. Eat it all. They'll never know. It wasn't us. Where's your evidence? Right, so we've got that. We're not too first time. We'll go on to the next one. More of the same. More of the same. More of the same. Yeah, pretty much more of the same. Oh, Hubbard's getting superstitious in the old age. Next one. Uh, hopefully we can make it here because this one's... Pretty boring. Ah, oh, boo. My vision became blurry. I rubbed my eyes, and when I looked up again, I was back where I originally stepped into that terrible portal. So, well, so technically, we've got a voodoo doll out of that. Great. Super. Uh, that's all the chocolate gone then, 28. Just about get us there. Ooh, no races. I think at this point it is probably worth resting up and getting back to 100 health, or 100 sanity should I say. There's no reason not to. Everyone rejoiced at the sight of water, a truly wondrous place surrounded by nothing but an endless ocean of sand. Let's rest. We decided it would be a good idea to stay here and I told the people to rest. One could cut the tension with a butter knife as we sat and stared into the fire. It took but a second to discover the reason why Hubbus woke up in the middle of the night, panic in his face, an insect had, insect had burrowed itself deep into his ear. He remained stoically calm, or was that stoically calm, while I removed the creature with a pair of tweezers. The bleeding was easily taken care of, but it seemed my equipment failed me. I damaged his ear in the process. He was not amused at all, but I hoped his hearing would eventually recover. So what does that mean? Oh, less combat rolls. Okay, that's, that's fine. I dig it. We could easily have spent weeks resting here. I would miss the cool air by the oasis water. Well, let's do it again. He loved it so much. I instructed the trek to halt and I told the people to rest. This was a good place and I was sure we would get some well-deserved rest here. After dinner, I performed some experiments with my compass and noticed that the needle behaved unusually. Perchance a natural magnetic site was attracting it? Yeah, it's just there. Panther's office and... On us again, I think. Uh, we could have easily spent weeks resting here. We've done this bit. Let's leave. And attack the panther. Uh, just the one. Ten health. Should be able to kill it in the one go. Hmm. We'll start by kicking it in the nuts. We'll claw it a bit. Do they go together? No. We'll taunt just in case. But I'm sure we'll be okay. Uh, is there any way I'm going to get another hit on the here? I don't think there is, is there? That's our last roll. Okay. Overkill. Give it to me all. Give it to me all. Uh, 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 I think we're okay if we take it all. Yes. Right, so let's uh, let's head to here, which is no doubt going to be a cave, and then we'll head on down south and make our way through this region and on to where we originally came through. We could go back down, I suppose. It's not that much of a diversion, although it will take us through the sandstorm, which generally isn't very good. No, we'll, we'll stick to the uh, we'll stick to the plan. We might even see a uh, yeah, another question mark. So let's see what's in this cave. How are we doing for torches? Fine. Don't know why we even bothered looking. We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a concealed opening in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part of the cave. Only one person could fit into the opening. We've only got the two dice. I'm not confident in doing that. And Hubris is useful, so we'll leave it there, I think, for the time being. On to the next. So we've got some hyenas. And there's something else roaming here. What are you? A giant scorpion. Ooh, a shrine. Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll see what it is. Worst case scenario, we will have to get back to the cave. 
So if we loop around it's something which spreads out quickly, we're going to get stuck. We arrived at a long forgotten shrine. It was a bold testament to the powers of its creators. The portal that led, that led inside emitted an eerie chill. The structure was slightly tilted and subsiding, although the ground seemed stable enough to em attempt entry. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Oh! Lots of gold. Um, okay, well, we'll take it all. What a glorious day! The treasure was to be mine! We grabbed the treasure and dashed outside as the ground disappeared behind us. We would have to run for our lives to avoid being devoured by the giant chasm that was beginning to form. So we're three slots overburdened. Alright. Well, what can we scrap? We can scrap the meat. Not too fussed by the meat. We could scrap the... Hmm, how much is the teeth worth? Fame of two, funds of five. So we'll scrap... Because those are worth more, aren't they? So we'll scrap the teeth and the pelt. We'll scrap the pelt. Still one slot? Uh, let's use the voodoo doll. That'll slow all those guys down. Uh, it seems we're going to have to run away. And we're going to have to drink some alcohol. Let's get to here. 26. Just to move out to see how much this, is, this actually gets destroyed. Is it done? It's done. Right, so, do we head south? Which is a fair way. Or do we loop around? Oh, we can actually pass through there now. Interesting. We'll head around. Get there yet? No. One more. We'll go bang on it. We need water soon as well. Maybe we should have stopped at the oasis. Oh well, we've made our minds up now. Oh, we've got another cave there. Okay. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Perhaps they formed a type of map. Hubbard seemed visibly upset at the idea of desecrating this spiritual site and warned us about disturbing the gods. Yeah, whatever, Hubbard. Whatever. We've come across no settlements yet, and they are very, very angry with us. Let's reveal the caves. Why not? We know where some of them are. Hubbard's made sure to voice his concerns to me, although I did not understand what he said. I was not sure how long it would take for him to t come to terms with my decision. Hubbard's was particularly upset with our decision. Oh, we've done a little bit. Okay. Just the one. We can't undo that. It seems like a very empty uh, region, all in all. And I would hazard a guess that that definitely being the pyramid. So we'll just crack on, I guess. Is everybody alcoholics now? Shut up, Hubbus. Yeah, you are. Right. We'll aim for there, but we'll get ready to cancel. Oh, raptors as well. Stop. Right, let's go for these giant scorpioners. Twelve. We should be okay here. We've got the dynamite. And we've got the head we need. Get you down to half. We'll kick one in the nuts. And shoot him in the face. And we'll do a repost. No, that's... Hang on. This has been silly. Let's just use the one there. And then we'll throw all of those in. Get the cutting repost and the shield. Roll it. Ooh, big claws. Just what we needed. We deprive the dead of anything useful. Stingers. Oh, we can take it all. Cool, cool. And down we go. Oh, you're a village. We arrived at a native village. The native appeared to be the best scouts known to this region. Today we reached the camp of a nomadic tribe. Upon our arrival, some villagers were busy decorating a peculiar looking idol that stood in the centre of their settlement. We tried not to disturb those rites while unpacking our crates. A precious looking stone idol was positioned front and centre of the village. As soon as they spotted us, the natives approached us. We seem to have garnered a bad reputation by now. Yes. Uh, let's trade. You got anything useful? Whoa, money is. 
So if I was to take the jewels, what are they? Oh, they've got a new picture for the spears. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, we can do without... the. Oh, just the one. Nice. Do I want anything else? Uh, we're going to have to clear a space for the um, for the idol anyway, I think. So let's uh, take the mangoes. You can have another feather. How's that? Ooh, if that's the case, can we give you a bit more and get some standing? Yes, we can. I settled on a trade with the natives. I know they oh, they're a little bit happier. Can we rest? The natives agreed to let us rest in an empty hut. However, they demanded tribute because of our disrepute. How much do you want? Do you want a map? Mm, kind of. How about... How about... Fire! Ooh, fire. It's like magic. Oh, no. I want to take one of them back. Use the rope up. There we go. I like it. After we reached an agreement with the villagers, I told the men to unpack and prepare our things for the night. There was a sudden turmoil against the villagers as the native pointed at one of our crates. They had noticed the mummified body which we had acquired earlier and demanded that we hand it over. No. Uh, hmm. That's worth quite a bit of fame. If I refuse though, do they kick me out? Uh, let's refuse. <laughs> the mummy would bring us fame and recognition in our homeland. We insisted on keeping it, which led to a heated argument between the villagers and ourselves. Unable to come to an agreement, there was nothing left to do but to go to bed and wait for the morning to come. Well, they're annoyed with us. Let's, uh, let's, let's take the mickey completely. Boom! Three times over! That means we should be able to sneak out as well. We pilfered the idol and the villagers... After the villagers had retired for the night and departed the village under the cover of night. That's what you get for arguing with us. And now we're overburdened. Not if we eat the fruit. Boom. Uh, we'll have to go the long way around as well, I think. Very good, very good. I think the raptors are onto us. Attack the raptor. All oh, raptors. Okay. Uh, we used to pull out normal bullets, didn't we? Okay. Well, let's throw some dynamite in there because we need to. Uh, we've got a pair of strong claws here that should be able to kill him off. We'll go defensive and hope we get some uh, taunts up, I think. Although we don't need that much more. Uh, we'll hold on to you. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, let's not, let's not risk it. We can throw three out. Make sure he gets killed off. Boom. And uh, we'll take the teeth and the raptor skins. And what can we drop off? What don't we need? Uh, I kind of do everything, really. The teeth will be good for our next exhibition. The rope, I suppose. That'll do. Come on, show me what this is. I'm running out of space. Oh, an oasis. And I think that's just pretty much done. How much to get over there? 29? Uh, we'll risk it for a biscuit. See, this is where the machete comes in useful. So it's all going according to plan. And there we go. And I believe that is the map completely explored. As much as we can. Let's get out of here. A marvel of intelligent endeavour, the golden pyramid was ours to reach. Will sorcerer beget success? However, a gate blocked the entrance. A small opening suggested that we required an artefact to open the gate. We have said artefact. After weeks of travelling, tremendous relief overcame me. I knew my name, Roald Amundsen Shinsenfensen, would be synonymous with victory. There we go. We did it. Success. Got the golden pyramid. Got the new world bonus, which we... Kind of meant to do, but didn't actually mean to do because we pressed exhibition too quick. And we, we came first because of that lovely, lovely voodoo doll. Tip top.
exquisite. Thank you. Right, so we've got Eagle Eye, we've got Occult Vision, and we've got Strong Mind. We've got the binoculars and we've got the space to carry the binoculars. So I'm not too fussed about Eagle Eye, although the viewing distance is plus 40. I think the binoculars is only 20. That is quite a step up. However, I'm not too worried about a court vision. Maximum sanity would come in useful. Although really that only benefits us right at the start of the expedition because we have that extra sanity. After that you're just refilling a, a, a gap anyway. Hmm. Even so. Strong mind it is. Huzzah! Huzzah. So, Mr. Crowley goes bounding ahead of us. Mr. Darwin, only a smidgen. Mr. Sellers, nowhere near. Ooh. Sure. Fur. Does any, any more need to be said? Really? Does it? Don't think so. So we will fame that, we'll keep those, sell the jewels, keep those. We've got decent money, we'll... 296, and we've got the idol, so... 1890, we'll gift that, we'll sell that, we'll keep that. We're going to keep all of those. And we're 40, you know, the raptor skins, and it's less space next time around, we'll sell them. Or should we gift them? We'll gift them. That'll make us around 2,000. I dig that. Boom! And there we go. Expedition 4, done and dusted. We've got around 2,000 fame. We've got plenty of funds and more coming to us because we have the idol. We've got plenty of... Provisions. That's the word I'm looking for. Provisions. And uh, we get to fill up, obviously, before we go on the next one, which is great. And uh, next time round, we can go to either... The Grand Jungle, the Sad Drylands, or the Cursed Architeque. Hmm. With lots of temples in. And lots of um, ticket places. I forgot what they're called. Snow, whatchamacallit. And that's new. So I'm guessing we're going to the Arctic next time around. But that'll be Expedition 5. Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.